All right, so briefly, what I want to mention first, uh, we ran out of time last time where I wanted to show some uh, special trick uh, regarding Instagram. Let me show that briefly. Um, last time we talked about Instagram, how basically you use it as an app, and you download the app on your iPhone or Android and you use it. Well, there is a way to use Instagram minimally on a website. Uh, so very briefly, let me show you this. You don't have to log in or anything like that, but I'm going to be recording this and you can play it back. So I'm going to go to the web browser, Instagram.com. And it's telling you right away, okay, go get the app and such, or create your account here. Um, log in. I'm going to log in with one of my accounts. If I can remember my password, since I'm always logged in on the app. Do you recommend any password cache tool? Um, if you want that extra layer of help or protection, it may be useful. Yeah, I don't personally use them. I probably should, but no, I don't use them. Let's see, what is my password there? Okay, so um, I logged in here. <clears throat> the, the big idea is that when you go to the um, uh, Instagram account on the website, what you can do is you can uh, see content and um, click to add the comment or like, that sort of thing, or search. But I, I look around and I don't see a button to to upload. I don't see a way to publish to Instagram um, because it's it's all about the, the app. Well, the trick is that if you enter a special mode, and I'll explain this in a moment, but if you enter a special mode, you can uh, access the site a little bit more like a mobile device. And oh, look at that, I get the button down there to upload a photo. I'm about to explain. <laughs> this is like the special thing. This is the gift for uh, the people who came on the Friday. That's right. The default is that, uh, you know, you can't use, uh, you, you can't use the site very much. Um, as a plain old site. Well, most web browsers nowadays have a way to enter into mobile mode, a mode that simulates a mobile device. Um, all of the all of the browsers should have it, so Chrome, Firefox, Safari, etc. But I'm going to show this with Google Chrome because it seems that often theirs is a little bit better than the competition. So this works best on, on Google Chrome, and I'll put it in my notes here as well. Accessing Instagram in mobile mode on a web browser. Instagram, um, accessing Instagram on a desktop web browser in mobile mode. So best to use Google Chrome. Uh, visit the website. log in then on your keyboard press F12 
So there's a button on the keyboard up on the number rows up there, F1, 2, 3, all the way to 12. Open, uh, then on your keyboard, press F12. This turns on developer mode. So you're going to go into a power user's mode that is going to look weird and scary. Uh, but it has this feature to simulate a mobile device because this mode is for us that do web design and such. Well, we need to test our project so that it looks good on a desktop and a mobile device. And if I don't have a mobile device handy, I can use the simulator in the web browser. So I'm here in Instagram. I press F12, and I get this panel on the side here with all of this code and things that highlight and all of this weird advanced stuff. <coughs> OK, well, there is this icon right up here above all of this code. What does that look like right there? Phone and tablet. Phone and tablet. So that's the toggle device toolbar. This is this simulator that will convert any website into a mobile mode. So many websites have a version of the website that displays on a desktop and a version that displays on a mobile. So once you trick the site into saying, hey, I'm a mobile device, you can see it as a mobile. So I'm going to click that on. And then there is the uh, highlighted here that it shows it's been toggled. So in the notes, I'll say. OK, developer mode. Uh, in the new tab bar next to elements, click on, what's it called again? Toggle device, toggle device toolbar to enter mobile simulation mode then select a mobile device profile which is over here on the left you see what happened is the screen kinda shrunk down kind of like a mobile device and at the top it says responsive mode which is a generic uh, mobile device well, here, I have the ability to switch to these different profiles. Switch the view over to an Android Galaxy device, an Apple iPhone device, iPad device. So I'll just pick iPhone 7. So from up here, that's the, that's the mobile profile uh, selector. So Does select. It have to match what you have? Say that again? Does it have to match what you have, or does it matter which one you It doesn't matter. It, uh, it's, that's not being connected to your rig real device. So select any of those mobile devices. If you have an Android phone, you can select an iPhone phone. If you have an iPhone, you can select an Android. It doesn't matter. It's just you need to switch it away from the generic responsive to one of these other ones. I like using Nexus X 5X because it also looks like that, like it looks like the actual mobile device. It doesn't matter. They all do the same thing to act like a device. If, you, if you're if you used to one of these, you can use one of those. And there's even more of them over here under Edit. There's other ones you can turn on if you want to simulate it how it was using a BlackBerry five years ago. There it is right there. Yes? Uh, for browser views? If you're, is there a way that you can, I saw it once before a long time ago, where you could go in and, and tell think of a browser, looking at a website, and you have like four or five other browsers emulated, like you could have it's an emulation of Firefox, Chrome, and, and Opera. And that's, not, that's not built into the browsers anymore, perhaps, that you would go off to a different website that would do that. Off the top of my head, I don't have that yeah. in, in mind, but I've seen those and used those before, but it's been a while. Usually because I, I guess I just manually go to each browser and use them. But I'm sure there are, you know, multi multi browser simulators out there. Just do a little searching and I'm sure those will pop up and it will do that, that it'll show the website in multiple web browsers at once for testing. Then select the mobile device profile such as Nexus 5X or iPhone 7. Then refresh the screen 
refresh or reload. You might not see the change right away. It still looks uh, kind of like desktop, just small. So I have to reload or refresh up here. After that reloads, OK, now it's starting to look a little bit more like a mobile device. So I get the pop-ups down here that we saw when I was looking at, uh, not the pop-ups, but I get the menu down here that I saw when, when we were, I was showing it on a real device in the top and all of that, and that little plus down there, which was to upload a photo. So then refresh the screen. Then you should get, and you should get a mobile mode to upload. Looks amazing. Well, the downsides are okay. I'm going to choose a picture. Just going to borrow any picture from here. Obviously, I have to have the picture on my computer because now I'm working on my computer. So I'm going to upload the picture, uh, and I uploaded the picture. I have some some of the editing capabilities and such you know I have the filters I have the edit actually in my case I I don't I have the plain I have the filters that that's built in that I can go here and then now that I've got a mobile device you see also I've got the tip of my finger here not a mouse uh, pointer anymore but there's my finger so if I want to scroll around here I have to click and hold and drag like if I was pressing and moving my finger now, if I had on my monitor, if I had a touchscreen monitor, then it would be the full effect. I can touch the monitor just like I would touch on the device. But here, I have to click on the mouse and hold and drag. Uh, edit I, doesn't seem to be, you know, remember all those great edit features, setting the saturation, setting the, the sharpness and all of that fine grain or fine tune changing. I don't seem to have that. I have the filters. I don't seem to have that Lux button that I had when I did it on mobile and they've actually been improving this because when I taught this you know three months ago this was even simpler it was missing more things now they seem to be adding to it now um, that's good because if you end up doing a lot of your work in Photoshop and stuff on your desktop yeah you could have the photo ready yeah. in Photoshop and then just upload it through the interface here yeah so then I can go next. The uh, the the when they developed the network, they had it originally all on mobile. You couldn't do anything on the desktop. Uh, so they um, this is still unofficial. You still want to use it on a on a real device usually. But if you need to use it on desktop for some things, you have that capability. Oh. Well, if you're doing this a lot, would tag you at all to Instagram? I, I don't know. I usually don't use it very much. I, I read about it in a blog several months ago, and I tried it out, and OK, it works. But I usually don't use it, not because I, don't, I think it's wrong or they're going to uh, reprimand you or something. I don't know. I just don't use it because I use it on the device because that's where I've got the photos. I feel sometimes, you know, I take the photo, I edit it, and then I upload it. And obviously, I I could do a lot better in Photoshop. I, I know Photoshop. I could do a lot of great things there. But I just feel like, okay, downloading the photo to my computer, editing in Photoshop, then going to the browser, going into this mode, then uploading it. I just feel it's a little bit faster or more efficient on the device. Yeah. I took your, the photo that I took, I threw it on Facebook, mm -hmm. and now it's going viral. Oh, great. Free education. So your face is getting spread across the internet. Thank you. They're not here today, but they'll come next time. Free yes. education. Is there any chance that you would like to stay, like, mess around with those, whatever? The code over here? Things, and then really search to screw it up? No, this is, uh, these codes over here are, uh, do not are not permanent. Uh, I can go here and change the sizes of things. See that I'm messing, oops, I'm messing up my picture over there. You see that how I'm moving it? Oops, I cut my picture in half. But that's, that's not permanent. This is, uh, what I'm viewing here is just temporary on my end. This is not changing Instagram's code. 
Uh, it's, this is for uh, us that we are, might be doing development where we can test the code, and then once we know the code works, we apply it for real. So this is just sort of previewing. Yes. You could, but you but you wouldn't because these are the dimensions that is supposed to be for these profiles. Yeah, these uh, if you put it unresponsive, then you can change it to what you want. But when you choose one of these profiles, it's uh, it's being set to the correct dimensions. You can also hit this button up here and go sideways, just like if you were going to rotate your phone. And you have other ways to simulate it. I have an online connection. I have a low-end mobile phone. I don't have an internet connection. So you can do some of this advanced testing. But um, here, this koala likes the rain more than Sa hashtag San Diego does. And it looks like, oh, OK, it does also pop up to suggest the hashtags, just like you're doing on mobile. And again, doing it this way, well, you've got a nice keyboard. Whereas on mobile device, maybe it's too small. Uh, San Diego. Can you schedule the post over here as well? No. no so this is, you, have a post. you would be scheduling the post anyway in something like Buffer, not in the not in Instagram itself. I don't believe even on Instagram app officially itself you can do the posting there. This one here? Yes. Well, that one rotates the screen. So uh, it was already it was in portrait mode a moment ago, tall, and then hitting that goes la sideways. So it's as if I had moved my uh, my phone. But I don't have that button. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Because um, this is all anyway an AirSats simulation. It's it's close enough to the original. Uh, and uh, it's not perfect, and this I'm just showing this to people to uh, possibly use it. And I really think, even though after you see this and it looks amazing, you probably won't use it as much as you think. But if you do, great. Um, I can add the location. That doesn't really do anything. Oh, okay, maybe it does pop up. Allow locations. Find a location. Okay, I can do that. And then I'll click share. Notice I don't have all of those options about also sharing it to Facebook or Twitter. We're doing all of that. And then when I click share, it does get published to the real uh, to the real account. It's gonna show oh, there it is. And then I can go see well what does this look like on an iPhone X? I can click that, I can refresh it. And it'll look something like that, just more to see. You even get these little alerts like you do on the real device that I got five likes. Koalas are very popular. And then I can see it. I can scroll around and see the content. So that was the secret there. Accessing Instagram on a desktop via browser mobile mode in developer mode. And um, it might be useful to you. And if not, continue using the web, uh, the app. But here's another way to, to use Instagram. So I'll say it's a basic version. It doesn't have all the features. But at least you can post, add some filters, and add hashtags a little easier. Because you have a you have a keyboard, a real keyboard. Any questions on, on that?